Oh, I got the flash grenade. <sighs> oh, really? We have to kill a red zealot now. And they're really playing this song from the original Resident Evil 4. Oh my god. They're relying so much on nostalgia at this point to drive their content. Rather than actual cohesive storytelling. Kidding. Oh, really? They're taking this drill sequence from Resident Evil 4 OG? No fucking clue. I gotta be fast here. Open already. Wow, it's like they somehow expected someone to have a hook shot. I mean, how does that make sense? Well, that was weird. That was really odd. I guess it makes more sense as a trap than having Ganado pilot it because they were trying to kill Ashley for some reason when they're supposed to be capturing her. Okay. Yeah, what a dumb waste of time. Though I'd much rather be doing that than indulging in any of the combat in the stupid pre-alpha. This is where she's going to be encountering the uh, Amaduros, I bet. Wow, just like the Sanguinous Virginess from Resident Evil Village. Like <sighs> I don't have time for these stupid games. That locks them out. I think I know what's coming. This can just go away. I don't know why I still have it. Oh, really? That sucks. Oh, what? There are other enemies too? Doesn't even kill them instantly, are you serious? It feels like that should do a lot more damage.
that wasn't awkward or anything. Fucking hell, really? Yeah, you have to use the parries if you're going to stand a chance. For God sakes, this is so fucking awkward. But they didn't kill her instantly. What the hell? Okay. I don't know how I cut that. Come on. Whoa! And I couldn't fucking move because she was busy pulling back on the bolt. Too bad she couldn't use her hook shot to uh pull the bottle. Oh! Now I should be using the uh the blast crossbow on the uh, other enemies rather than on the Amaduros. It didn't kill it? I thought it always killed it! What the hell? You, you, you gotta be kidding me. Well, I'm not using the knife on the Amaduros anymore, if that's the case. A clean strike. Fucking brag about it, Ada. Because it's that important to know.
Nice. I pierced them. Whoa! All right, now I should be able to finish them off. That sounded so stupid. She just sounded so apathetic just then. Here, catch. <laughs> that sounded so bad. That's such a stereotype. I mean, I know Ada has that kind of apathetic nature, but that just sounded like it was just poking fun at that. That's so stupid. That was a stupid sequence. That is so fucking awkward. Trying to shift between targets in this kind of environment. And you have the Amadudos doing the very awkward movement. Oh, that was so bad. That was really bad. Let me place the gold bottle here just to see what this is. What is that noise? Ah, it's just the treasure, of fucking course. That is such an awkward sequence. I cannot believe they would design the room like this. And have this many Amadudos. You're dealing with probably more Amadudos than before. And then you have the crossbow guys. And the only way you're going to efficiently dispatch them without getting screwed by the bars and the terrible aiming and without much the TMP spreads is just to use your blast crossbow, which I haven't been using much. I mean, that was just stupid. That was really stupid. And I don't understand why you can get the blast crossbow in the world, yet you can't craft ammunition for it. That's stupid. That was another retarded sequence. That, that was so fucking bad. Like, did, why would they even be guarding these kinds of ingredients? Would the Los Illuminados even know how to make the suppressant? Why would they assume that people would be going for these just to make the suppressant? How would they know that? And now we're in chapter 8 right now. Where did, the, where did this debris come from? What do you bet it's the same file that you get in that lab? Our experiments are still ongoing, but I can already see that this test subject has great potential. To summarize our findings so far, even in a state of suspended animation, it holds influence over other parasites. It seems to possess the same organ as the dominant species and likely has the same level of control. We still have no method to awaken it. Furthermore, after a deadly accident, we have decided to take extra precautions and seal the amber in a protective case. That is also why I plan to move the amber research lab to the new comms facility. I guess this is where I say adios to Don Quixote. It was Luis who discovered these things, but Sadler does not trust him. I just hope he keeps his mouth shut. Annabelle Garcia Escudero, head researcher. Yeah, we already know who Annabelle is. But like, I made the mistake of assuming that the dominant species Plaga from the original version of Resident Evil 4 was a natural Plaga. It's actually manufactured, but conveniently, this superior species Plaga is a natural Plaga that happens to be just like the artificial dominant species. I don't understand. And what even is the point, though? Like, they're not going to follow up on this in Resident Evil 5 Remail because they're focusing on the Ouroboros virus. What? Are they going to somehow make the Amber tie into the Ouroboros virus? That doesn't make sense because the Ouroboros virus is a progenitor virus variant. It's specifically the progenitor virus. There's no other virus. There's no other parasites involved. It's just the progenitor virus. 
Like, Wesker only employed the Las Plagas as another defense mechanism to infect the villagers and keep the BSAA off of him, unless, like, Irving had some other reasons for infecting the villagers. Because he was probably making money and he had to, you know, like, infect the villagers as, like, test subjects. That I understand. And also with the Nidapaya tribe and the other mercenaries. I mean, how are they going to tie this into Resident Evil 5 Remilk? That's what I don't understand. So even in a state of suspended animation, it holds influence over other parasites. Like other Las Plagas, you mean? Like other, other natural variants? Like, how though? What is allowing it to emit this kind of sound wave from within suspended animation? That shouldn't be possible. And it's just odd how they say other parasites and not other Las Plagas. And what does she mean by, I just hope he keeps his mouth shut? Keep his mouth shut to whom? Like, did she already assume that Luis had made contact with other organizations? If that's the case, why phrase it like it was Luis who discovered these things but Sadler does not trust him? Like, she has to already assume that Luis is a traitor. So then why phrase it like this? I don't understand. This is so confusing with the writing. This DLC is so bad. It really is. And I just know that when they introduce the Superior Species Plaga, it isn't going to make any sense at all. If we're dealing with Colmios again, that won't make any sense. Oh, a Moonstone, just like the original Resident Evil 4. I don't know what that's doing. So unfortunately, I have to fight this guy, it seems. And he's saying it faster now for some reason. God, why is she so... Like apathetic. It's it's so exaggerated with her with her character now. And he just refuses to flinch because it's bullshit. I'm not wasting a flash grenade on this idiot. Get up, you. And why is she even a red aura around Ada every time she gets affected by this? That doesn't make sense. Like, why didn't Leon add that? Stop fucking running away! He just will not get floored. Getting the eyeball and the teeth from those zombies in Resident Evil 6 was more interesting than this. Get floored, you moron. God, this doesn't make any sense. He's just a normal Ganado. He's not like a brute for crying out loud. What is it about him that makes him so resilient to flinch animations? Like, can I leave the area? Oh, I can't even leave the area. Damn it. This is so fucking bad, guys. This is, it really is. He's all the way back there. Where the hell is he? Oh shit! God, he just keeps running away. He doesn't flinge while he's running or anything. Nothing like that. He just... His capabilities don't make any fucking sense. And now it's just... 
I'm playing Ring Around the Rosie with this idiot. This is your idea of an engaging gameplay experience, new Capcom? Are you fucking serious? And he's not dead, probably. Oh no, he is dead. Finally. Glad that's over. And I still don't understand why the Plaga didn't hatch inside of Ada when he was using the Crimson Flame. What the hell do the Crimson Flames have to do with the Plaga? They have not expanded upon that at all! Just as I fucking predicted, guys. No explanation of the Crimson Flames. No explanation of the Blue Flames. No explanation of the Black Liquid. And U3's origins, or, or Vertigo's origins, were changed. So it had nothing to do with the Black Liquid now, apparently. R3? Why would R3 be one? Fine, I'll use that. It's not like I use R3 for anything else. That sound. That's right. I still have some unfinished business to take care of. There's Wesker. So, what's become of the Amber? Sorry, nothing yet. But my little helper is creating quite the commotion. How would you know that? You didn't even see him. Everything Aside from that one part as as with the lithographs. Dog, is it just me or is the voice quality of Wesker different in this cutscene for some reason? Yeah, it is. But don't come cry to me if you get bit. That is such a bad quote. Don't come cry to me if you get bit. When has he ever said anything like this? This is not Wesker. <laughs> that is such a dumb quote. That's such a cringe quote. And I've tried to listen to that quote with the uh, voice mods, with like DC Douglas and the uh, the actor from Resident Evil 1 OG, and it still sounds bad. And then somehow Ada contacts Leon, and it makes no sense. How did she jack his comms? How? Leon, changed your mind yet? Yeah. Assuming you haven't, I've got a tip for you. Seems like something big is about to go down in the throne room. Babysitting's tough, huh? <sighs> Fucking stupid quote. All done that way. To confirm to the player that they intentionally made Ashley's AI shit to justify that quote. And I still don't have a knife, so I don't know why this free alpha is not giving me a knife right now. This is so odd. I should check for work. I haven't gotten a knife at all. I just I don't understand why. I don't think this area was here in the uh remilk version. In the main pre alpha. This must be the collection room. Isidro's note. April, nine years since my awakening. I have received a written petition from Mendez. He wants me to forgive the servant who foolishly ran away. He does not understand. It is not a matter of forgiveness or unforgiveness. Only my noble pursuit matters, for which countless sacrifices are required, and honor for all who dwell in the land of our master. Besides, it would be impossible to remove it from his body now. Wait, I don't understand what he means. Remove it from his body? Who's the his in this case? Is it really Mendez? It can't be. Or is it the servant? She implants her prey with a part of herself, manipulating their consciousness and trapping them in a waking nightmare. Yeah, so I was right. That vertigo figure is a she. They are bent to her will, no matter how far they try to flee. The only way to truly escape the torment is to kill her, so the entity within her prey dies too. This doesn't make any fucking sense at all. I, I don't understand. The entity within her prey dies too. That's not surely referring to the Plaga. Killing her somehow kills the Plaga within you. Wait, what, what did she implant Ada with? I don't get it. It is, after all, made up of specialized cells which cannot survive on their own, yet none are strong enough to put my hound, my Pasanta, down. Is that her name? Pasanta? His wife or whatever? I don't know how Isidro is related to this female vertigo. 
Who handled the writing of this fucking pre-alpha? And made up of specialized cells. Like, you can't go into more detail. This just shows how little they understand their own lore. They had no fucking clue what they were doing. All they had to do was put in the original lore from Resident Evil 4. And expand upon that. Now they're just making up stuff. Now they're coming up with these very vague details made up of specialized cells which cannot survive on their own. How awfully convenient. Just like with the flies birthed from that Kadu parasite which made the daughters and they can't reproduce. At least in the file for those daughters, they talked about the idea of tardigrades and, and, um, and, and the other like organisms that succumb to cryptobiosis. They don't even do that! In Resident Evil Village, they talked about like Narca Japonica. It, when talking about Heisenberg, they talked about the flowers that Beneviento uses to make her victims hallucinate. They talk about the, the, the implementation of other genetic data within the Megamycete to create the various mutations we see. It's nothing like this at all. Good to know. Oh my God. As if that's somehow crucial information. Obviously killing her is going to eliminate the entity within you. Obviously, because apparently hallucinations can be controlled by others, which makes no sense. But of course, in the context of uh, Evelyn infecting her victims with her own e type there's probably sense right there. Probably the same, I mean, I mean with Beneviento, it was a little bit odd, but I, I don't know. He's the, the, the pollen triggered the hallucinatory properties, and Beneviento was able to uh, induce hallucinations and control them, because there's a lot of details that Ethan was hearing that he surely didn't hear from this hallucination of Mia, because it should be based off what he believes or what he knows, or his current anxieties. Very odd the way the that sequence was handled, but I I still consider it far more grounded, because obviously it's tied to his infection. It's it's tied to the uh, the pollen that is essentially controlled by the mutamycete. There's just nothing here with this lore, and you can tell, guys. You, you can just tell that they don't even understand their own lore. You want to know why? Let me let me quit the game real quick. Let let me quit the game, and just head back to the main menu. Let me show you guys. Bonuses. Concept art. Remember how the concept art in Resident Evil Village had detail to it? Remember how they talked about what they were thinking as developers when designing these scenes? Remember when they were talking about the difficulties involved with designing certain parts? And they even said like the development of Resident Evil Village was trial and error. And they talked a lot about the Kadu parasite. They talked a lot about the Megamycete. They talked about the various mutations. There's nothing like this in any of the concept art for Resident Evil 4 Remilk because they had no idea what the fuck they were doing with their own lore. At all. But let's get back into this. This is... This is really fucking retarded. While searching for Louise, Ada becomes dizzy before uh, passing out. When she wakes up, she comes face to face with Wesker himself and he isn't pleased. Ada follows his orders and reunites with Louise with the Amber is still in the castle. The two must venture there again to retrieve it. But what I said about the concept art, I need to point that out in my retrospective of Resident Evil 4 Remilk. Because it has to be said. Like, the fact that the developers didn't even bother adding any additional details to the concept art goes to show they had no clue what they were doing with the story in Resident Evil 4 Remilk. I mean, there are clear signs that this development team had no idea what the fuck they were doing with this Remilk. No fucking clue. It's staring you right in the fucking face, right under your fucking noses, and yet you still want to cling on to the belief that this remilk is somehow amazing. The collection, the collection master is a tacky and lousy boss. He leaves all the dissections for me to do. Even if he does bother to come here, all he does is gop that his three favorite specimens in a particular order before leaving. Wow, that, that reminds me of that note from Resident Evil 7 in the Not A Hero DLC with that uh, Stanford graduate who was a member of the Connections, who was flabbergasted at the idea that Lucas was promoted to head researcher, yet all he does is play around with the test subjects and just make them kill each other and, like, feed a bunch of test subjects. Like, he doesn't do anything like that, so he was actually, like, flabbergasted by that, and he wanted to voice his complaint, but then uh, Lucas killed him. That's what this preparator sounds like. There's nothing special about them anyway. Why only look at those three specimens when we have that prized butterfly to admire? A good researcher would know such things. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. 
lizard? Is that what that is? Is that is that based off of Delago? Or a salamander, sorry. Is, is that a salamander? Beetle. And then goat head or whatever that is. Got it. How do you get past the Ganado? Got everything you need. Good. I got exactly what you want. Ah. Oh, that's not good. The parasite is reacting to the amber. So that's the amber. That looks like something Wesker would want. So by simply touching it, it reacts to her. How? If this thing is able to induce some kind of influence over other parasites, it shouldn't matter if she's touching it or not. It's all based on sound. It's not based on touch. Why would simply touching it trigger this influence? Unless, it's, unless she's somehow stirring it out of its rest or suspended animation by touching it. I don't get it. I mean, Louis should have already been doing that by touching it and, like, wiggling it everywhere as he was running. And again, how was she infected? I don't understand. How? Why have they given no explanation for how Ada's infected? This will knock out the parasite. But only for a time. To your health. <laughs> and that's absolutely bizarre that he was able to manufacture it in a matter of minutes. That suppressant. I thought the suppressant would take a lot more effort to make than that. It's not a cure. We still need to find a way to get that thing out of you. What is it like homeopathy? Like what is this? <laughs> sedated and give me back that damn stone i can't leave you here not like this spare me i'll be fine i've got another promise to keep Go all right <sighs> find me as soon as you're done here is he even seeing that i can't tell if luis was seeing this vertigo or not this is so garbage guys None of this makes any sense of the story at all. I can't even tell if it is trying to tell a story. And we still have no explanation for how Ada was infected. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. When was she injected with the parasite? 